Ah, congratulations. We finally have an episode that is more useless than the first episode of this season. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 14, Mannequin 3, The Reckoning, and this is by far the most useless episode of this entire season. Despite having that cliffhanger of Sam being able to have a little bit of a glimpse of hell, that is pretty much almost foregone by the beginning of the next episode. They kind of talk about it a little bit and that's it. And we get another tease with Ben calling Dean saying that there's something wrong that he needs to come home and Lisa's going on dates because that's obvious because Dean's been a shit partner in all of this and he's just totally disappeared and he's been ignoring their calls because he's got a brood. <sighs> you have a poison in your mind and the fact that you can't see it makes me so sad. Now, Lisa and Dean made sense on a level as to how the previous season ended and then him going back to work kind of to get back, you know, get back into the swing of things, figure out what happened with his brother, that made sense. But then that ridiculous bullshit of, you go off and you come back when you can, you know, we'll make it work. And then they continue to do this bullshit writing where Dean just ignoring phone calls, just be making himself out to be a bigger and bigger dick. No, I can't have family. Uh, everyone gets hurt around me. And then the weird kind of flashback he has of the, Events from the first two episodes. That is one big pile of shit. What is this supposed to signify? Are we supposed to feel bad for him? No, wrong. Why would I feel bad for him? And then there's the mannequin ghost thing, which, yeah, there's a few jokes in here, but I find that the entire premise of it is very weak. The whole idea of these three guys going so far with a joke that they would lure her to an apartment building to just laugh at her. <laughs> Who wrote this shit? And then it ends with some stupid bullshit where the ghost sister gets control of baby, drives around in a circle with Dean doing this weird, funny running around thing, which I thought was quite hilarious. And then the car slams into a, a store window and somehow, somehow, a piece of glass this fucking big goes in the completely opposite direction. Not even an angle that would work because it has to pass Dean, it has to pass Sam, and it has to come at it at an angle that's, I, I don't even know if you can see me over here, but this is like where we need to go and the fit, physics don't work this way. The idea that this is what kills her, it stabs her right in the kidney of all goddamn things. I think that they just came to this end because they're like, all right, boys need to fail which actually give credit to that they don't win really in this episode they don't save the sister they in fact actually get her killed through means that are completely fucking impossible to be honest it is a dab era level of stupidity thinking that the audience are nothing but buffoons you are made of stupid it's laughable so yeah this episode really actually fucking sucks to be honest it has little to almost no meaning it has two kind of pulls that in the end mean entirely nothing and they're pretty much predictable you have a ghost story that you don't care about and it goes to a laughable extent and then ends on a level of improbability and absolute hysterics that you as the audience cannot take it seriously in any fucking means or measure. So in the end, I'm just going to give this episode what I feel it really deserves. I'm going to give this episode a 1 out of 7. This is an episode that you can skip and nothing, absolutely nothing would come of it. Even with the cliffhanger that happened in the previous episode, I guarantee they're going to bring it up if even maybe a little bit in whichever episode would follow afterwards. If you had anything that actually mattered to this episode, you could watch maybe the first minute of it and that's it because there's some decent uh there but then everything else is just a giant falling apart piece of garbage. But those are my incredibly harsh thoughts about this episode. What do you guys have to say? The title alone is a warning sign. After watching this episode, you're going to be drained of any joy. This episode is infamous among the fan base for how awful it is. Let's talk about the god-awful effects. There are some of the worst CG I've ever seen on TV, which is baffling to me considering that Supernatural up until season 12 had some pretty impressive effects. 
the plot the plot is garbage just another ghost revenge story that has a unnecessarily cruel ending however the worst part is lisa and ben i'm waiting for this episode to completely unload on these characters because they are at their most annoying yes after this episode is pretty much confirmed that ben is a drunk as a baby the kid has the it as the iq of a potato seriously how old is this brat to pull a stunt like that to dean i'm honestly amazed at how dean managed to keep his cool at how lisa the hypocrite and her son treated him why does dean just sit there and take it when lisa berates him for no good reason at all god this woman is so annoying and why are they back to them i thought they were done with these two and they constantly bring them back i can't stand them. that's what the episodes overall my it's not in my top 10 worst but it's definitely the worst of the season i feel that the whole story is just like i don't even understand why ben and lisa are introduced into this story i admit i can understand why lisa's pissed at dean and good for her for moving on especially with the dumbass bullshit that dean put them into i i just don't understand why this is a part of the story it's just it's the weakest fucking episode they try to make it matter with the dumbest thing like it's never brought up again just it's a very wasted episode. Mannequin 3 may be the weakest episode of the season for me, but I still think it has some cool ideas thrown in here. One of them shows a few minutes of Sam's seizures. That it, given that it's a week in the cage, there's a lot of math put in perspective, but let's just say that Earth time is around a year and a half, and then when you try putting that into the fact that minutes of time in Earth, it seems that he's in the cage for a week. Uh, for Sam's torturing into the thousands with Lucifer. Another concept I enjoyed about how a vengeful spirit was tied to their kidney that was donated to someone who needed it. That represented itself in a moral dilemma for Sam and Dean, and I love the resolution that was the vengeful spirit put itself to rest in its own way. This is the second and last time we would see the Impala be used against the boys. While I know that I'm the punchline to liking Dean and his relationship with Lisa and her kid, it met a conclusion that is definitely sad to me. However, this season I feel like is a perfect wake-up call for how Dean determines who really is family to him. More than anything, I really love the simple callback of Sam telling Dean that he's got his back and means it this time, rather than the soulless Sam who would lie to him in the reassurance of previous seasons. I guess I can kind of understand that that juxtaposition just definitely in terms of the torture, like that seizure must have been forever and hell time. And then the kidney thing, I guess, I just hate how it, it resolves. It's just dumb. Bad episode, two out of seven. In this episode, the brothers save not so nice people and kill an innocent woman. As a very, very brass tax version of it. Okay, I'll talk a little bit more about this episode. In this episode, Sam becomes a ticking time bomb, and Dean finally admits to himself that he will never go back to Ben and Lisa. The brothers are faced with a sad realization that they always accept, expect the same thing every day, and that the future does not have a happy ending in store. That is probably one of the most insightful ideas that you can take from this, along with... Um, along with Joe's like you guys are finding some like some little apples in this absolute shit farm and good for you for that Mannequin 3 is hot garbage of an episode and this is definitely one of the worst episodes of the season and I think the second guy that gets killed by the mannequin appeared on the original series are you afraid of the dark season 5 episode 5 the night shift oh hmm I actually never really watched Are You Afraid of the Dark. I heard it was a good show. I know that we're made, we've are we made a few uh, new seasons out here. Hot pile of trash. The whole idea of killer mannequins didn't make any sense. I mean, did the ghost possess mannequins just because her secret admirer turned out to be one? Nothing makes sense and the case is just so boring. The awful CGI and the two poorly made montages in one episode make it even worse. The dialogue is incredibly poor and I was wondering if Dean has a single sentence without making an outdated pop culture reference. Each attempt to insert humor into the episode is just backfires. Ugh, I really wish they had focused more on the whole Sam remembered hell and it felt like a weak storyline. Instead, they just jump into a hunt as if any everything is hunky-dory. 100%, that should have been the focus of this episode considering the cliffhanger that we were left with. I had some hope for Lisa and Ben scenes, but their whole discussion is just pointless. The relationship between them just doesn't work and nobody cares about their relationship that has been set up so poorly. I think that Ben and Lisa had a lot of potential as characters, but clearly no one bothered to actually make something of them 100%. Why are Dean and Lisa in love in the first place? The only reason they talk to each other seems to be that Dean's desire to have a kid and her wish for to have a dad for him. The awful montage while Dean was driving back made it even clear that there was nothing between them. Yes, there was a terrible montage. They literally had only three episodes to cut to that thing. A lot of unnecessary friction. I'm already pretty annoyed to see them again in Let It Bleed. Yeah, you and me both. Mannequin 3 is an abysmal episode. For me, this episode is definitely the bugs, the rogue kill, the ghost facers, and the family remains, and the swap meet of season 6. And what do these episodes all have in common? Well, 
for me, they're all the worst episodes in the season that 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 it's in. The last time I watched this episode was back in December. I just started I started from the beginning to the title card and then just stopped. This is the same problem I have with Metamorphosis and Roadkill. After a few ep- scenes, I just cut it off. The only scene I remember from this episode was when the Impala was trying to run over Sam and Dean. I will never watch this episode again. I will actually have to say that of all the ones that you refer to, the only one that I can say that is on a similar level is Family Remains, but I think that Family Remains is at least a little bit better than this one. This is by far the worst episode of Super natural thus far the um oh the fairy tale one the one in season three that was also a very poor one all right guys thank you for your comments and now now we've got a good one now we've got one that i know you guys are gonna love for me to talk about and i'm actually kind of curious about what my thoughts are about this one next episode is the french mistake essentially them doing another version of changing channels sort of an alternate reality story this also is regarded as one of the best episodes of supernatural so we will see if this one has aged for me similar to that of changing channels give me guys thoughts about that episode and i'll read those off in the next review anyways guys that's all for me hope you enjoyed the review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe until then see you guys next week